Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we will understand how to set up Webhook inside WooCommerce. Webhook acts as a bridge to connect applications and it helps to deliver the data to other applications as an event happens. So here let's suppose that I have a WooCommerce store and my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new order on my WooCommerce store, then I want to capture the order details. So now in order to do that, I need to set up a webhook inside WooCommerce that will help me to capture the new order details here in Pabli Connect. So in order to do that, I will go to my trigger window and over here, I'm going to search for WooCommerce as my trigger application and here it is. And now the trigger event will be new order created. So this trigger will start working whenever a new order will be created in my WooCommerce store. So here you can see that as I've selected my trigger application and the trigger event, I've got a webhook URL. So this webhook URL is going to act as a bridge to connect our WooCommerce account with Pabli Connect. So you can read the instructions given below over here carefully because this webhook URL is going to act as a bridge so that the details could be captured over here in Pabli Connect. So now in order to do that, I'm going to take you to my WooCommerce account. So this here is my WordPress dashboard where I've installed my WooCommerce plugin. So now I'm going to my plugin that is of WooCommerce and here I will go to settings. And now here in settings, as per the instructions, I will go to advanced. And over here in advanced, I will go to webhooks. So over here, I need to mention the webhook data. So let's say that I'm going to keep the name of this webhook as Pavli Connect webhook. So here I'm mentioning the name. And now moving to the status. So the status of the webhook will be active so that I can send the order details to Pabli Connect. So now moving to the topic. So over here in topic, I'm going to select the trigger event that is of order created. Once that is done, I need to mention the delivery URL. So here in Pabli Connect, we have got the webhook URL. We are going to copy it. And here in WooCommerce, we are going to paste it. So as I've mentioned the delivery URL as well, and now here I'm going to click on save webhook. So here you can see that the webhook is updated successfully. That means the webhook which we have just set up for order created is successfully added over here in WooCommerce. And as the webhook is updated successfully, and now I'm going to take you to Public Connect. So over here in Public Connect, I'm going to recapture the webhook response. So by recapturing the webhook response, that will mean that I need to do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So this here is my WooCommerce store. And let's say that I'm going to place a new order for this product that is blue round neck t-shirt. So I'm going to add to cart. So here you can see the product details. Here's the name of the product. Here's the price. This here is the quantity and this here is the subtotal. So now I'm going to proceed to checkout. And now here in this checkout page, I've already filled in the details. And now I'm going to click on place order. So over here it says, thank you, your order has been received. That means the order is successfully placed. So the test order which I've just placed right now, so the details of this order would have been captured in Pabli Connect. So here in Pabli Connect, you can see that we have received the details in the response. Here you can see the first name, last name, and here are the billing details and the address details as well. And here is the payment method as cash on delivery. So here you can see the order ID is also captured over here in the response and scrolling down to some other details. So here you can see at what time and date the order was created. And over here you can see the price of the product that was of 2100 and this here is the name of the product. So over here in Pabli Connect, we have successfully captured the details of the new order which was just placed on my WooCommerce store. So that means the first objective of this automation is set up. That means now whenever I'm going to receive a new order through WooCommerce, then automatically the details of the order will get captured over here in Pabli Connect. So this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. So as I've got the order details over here in Pabli Connect, that means the webhook which we have set up in WooCommerce is successfully working. So as I've got the order details successfully over here in Pabli Connect, now I want to add those details in a Google Sheet. So here I've already prepared a Google Sheet by the name of WooCommerce order details. And over here, it consists of these columns. So I want that whenever I'm going to receive a new order through WooCommerce, then automatically the order details should be added over here in this Google Sheet in a new row. So now in order to do that here in Pabli Connect, I will go to my action window and over here, I'm going to search for Google Sheets as my action application. Here it is. And the action event will be to add a new row. 
So now in order to establish a connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect, so here I'm going to click on Connect. And now to add a new connection, you just have to sign in with your Google account. So here I'm going to click on Allow as this is a secure access. And the authorization was successful. So here you can see that Google Sheets and Pabli Connect is successfully connected. So now moving to the select spreadsheet part. So as I've mentioned that I've already created a Google Sheet by the name of WooCommerce order details. And in this Google Sheet, I want to add the order details. So in Pabli Connect from this drop down, I'm going to select my spreadsheet as WooCommerce order details. And it has automatically selected the sheet as my Google Sheet consists only of one sheet. So here in Pabli Connect, now I need to mention these details. So to mention these details, I'm going to use a method that is called as mapping. So basically mapping means to insert the data from previous step. So as I've received the response from WooCommerce, so here in these fields, I'm going to map the response. So this here is the order key, I'm going to map it. Now moving to the order date and time. So at what time the order was placed. So over here, I'm going to search for the date and time. So over here, this is the date and time and I'm going to map it. Once I've done that, now moving to these details of the customer. So here I need to mention the customer name that was dummy user. So here I'm going to map the first name that is dummy. And now I'm going to map the last name that was user. And now here I've mapped the last name. Moving to the email again from the response received, I'm going to map the email address that was dummy user at ratepablitudes.com. Moving to phone number. So again, from the response received, I'm going to search for the phone number and here I'm going to map it. So here I need to mention the address, product name, quantity and the amount. So this here is the address that is 125 Random Street. So once I have mapped these details, so now moving to the product name. So here I'm going to search for the product name. And this here is the product name. I've mapped it. And now moving to quantity. So over here from the response received, I'm going to search for the quantity and here I've mapped it. So now moving to the amount. So here I'm going to search for the total amount that was of 2100. So as you can see that I have mapped the details in these fields. So this method of mapping is important so that every time I'm going to receive a new response, so that response could be taken into consideration in these fields. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information could have become static, which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received a new response. So in order to avoid that problem, we map the information. So here I've mapped the details and now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see that I have received the response and this here is a positive response. So here in this Google Sheet, the WooCommerce order details is successfully added in a new row. So here that means the webhook which we have set up inside WooCommerce for new order created is successfully set up. And now whenever a new order will be placed in my WooCommerce store, then automatically the details of the order will be added in my Google Sheets. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.